Okay, Owen, we obviously lost the game. Go ahead and hit the ball. Finally! Wow, I mean these these baseball cards are Owen's most prized possessions. I mean, does he does he really want anything about baseball right now? I'm mean, I don't know what to do. Do I burn them? No, Johnny. He wants you to give them back. I don't, I don't think I understand. Owen is hurting too. He gave you his baseball cards to show you how much how bad he feels about the accident. Owen had loved your mom almost as much as you did, and by giving you all of his cards, he wanted to show you that he loved you enough to trust you with his most prized possession. So, we'll go back and give him the cards whenever then? Well, what are you going to give him to show that you love him? Uh, the cards? No. You have to give him something to show that you still want to be his friend. Oh, I mean, what do you think? The armadillo, Johnny. Uh, what, if, what if he keeps it? I don't know if I can do that. Johnny, I would be honored if anything, if, I gave, if what I gave you would actually be used for something important. Why does the armadillo have no claws? The claws are the best part of the armadillo and Owen took them off? What, what the hell is this? Your friend is most original. Don't you see, Johnny? If he could, he would cut off his hands for you. That's it. Makes him feel to have touched that baseball bat, to have swung with that bat, those results. It's how we all feel. You, me, and Owen have lost a part of ourselves. Oh. Yeah. It's not that I want to be a hero. I don't want to at all. It's that, that I have to be a hero. It's what I'm supposed to do. How do you know? It's not that I want to go to Vietnam. That's just where I have to go. I've been, I have to be a hero. I've got to go there. Tell him how you know this, you asshole. The way you know things, your obligations, your destiny, what God has in store for you. So you're saying God wants you to go to Vietnam? I'm not listening to this shit anymore, Owen. This is a dream, isn't it? Does Pastor Mel tell you that God wants you to go to Vietnam? No, he says it's just a dream, too. That's what I say. I don't even know what it is, but I know it's just a dream. It's not your dream. It's only a dream. It's not your dream. Don't be coy. Don't play around with me. I'm not playing around. If I were playing around, I wouldn't request a combat assignment. So in this dream, you're a hero? Yeah, I say children. Lots of children. Vietnamese children? That's how I know where I have to go. They're Vietnamese children. I know for a fact they're Vietnamese. If I was supposed to save soldiers, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go through all this trouble. Oh, and this is so childish. You can't believe everything that pops in your head is something means something. You, you have to do something and believe what you're supposed to do. That isn't exactly what faith is. I don't believe everything that pops in my head. But f my faith is a little more selective than that. Don't be afraid. Don't report for your physical. Don't do anything. All you've got to know is what you want. Do you want to go to Vietnam? No. Do you want to spend the rest of your life in Canada thinking about what your country did to you? Now that you put it that way, no. Fine, I'll be right there. Don't be afraid. It just takes a little courage. I'm not really afraid. I just, I don't know what to do. I know, I know. Is that the new knife? Just the blade is new. I boiled it and wiped it with alcohol. All it takes is a little courage. Naturally, this is all your decision. 100%. Naturally. The Army regulation states that if you're missing a finger, you're not physically qualified to serve the Army. 